In the very beginning of this section, we learned about some of the built-in pipes of Angular and what is their use. Now, there is one more very important built-in pipe of Angular which we have not talked about yet and that is the async pipe. So, in this lecture, we are going to learn what is this async pipe and when do we use this async pipe and what it actually does. So, async pipe basically allows us to handle asynchronous data. It allows us to subscribe to an observable or promise from the view template and returns the value emitted. Let's try to understand async pipe with an example. So what I want is, in this web page, I also want to display the total number of students. Now, let's just assume that the data which we are getting here, we are getting it from a database and that database is available on some remote server. So in order to get this data, we will have to make an HTTP request and the server will send us a response. So this request and response cycle, it will be an asynchronous task. And since we are making a request to the remote server, we might get the response after some delay. Now, in this example, we are not using any database or any backend server, but we are going to simulate that. So for that, we are going to make use of a promise or an observable, and inside that we will write a set timeout function. But first of all, in the header, I want to show total student message, and after that, the total number of students. So let's go to VS Code, and let me open admincomponent.html. In here, after this div, I'll add a new div. Inside that, I want to display total student. Okay, and here I'm going to use string interpolation syntax. And inside this, we will specify some variable name. Now here on this div, let me also go ahead and let me quickly add some style. Okay, and let's also open admin component.ts. In here, I'm going to create a new property. I'll call it total students. And I'm going to set it to six for now. And let's use this total students inside this string interpolation syntax. Okay, let's go to the web page and let's see how it looks. So here we have this total students message and then the total number of students. Now let's go back to VS Code and as I said, we will assume that we are getting this student data from a database. And when we are getting the data from a database, from a backend server, it might take some time to get the response. So we are going to simulate that situation. And for that, I'm going to use a promise here. You can also use an observable, but here I also want to show you that in Angular, we can also use promises. That's why I'm going to use a promise here. But of course, you can also use observables. So in order to create a promise, we use new keyword followed by promise. Okay, and this promise takes a callback function. And this callback function receives two arguments, resolve and reject. Both of them are functions. So this resolve, it is also a callback function. And this reject, it is also a callback function. Now inside the body of this callback function, I'm going to use set timeout function. Okay, and here, I'll specify the timeout as 2000 milliseconds. That means two seconds. And after two seconds, this callback function, which we are passing as the first argument, it will be executed. So when this function will be executed, from within this, we want to return the total number of students. For that, I'm going to use this resolve method. That means the promise has resolved. And when the promise is resolved, we can return some data. And that data will be the total number of students. For that, we can say, this dot students dot length. So here we are trying to simulate a fake HTTP request and response. Let's say we have make a request to the server for getting all the students and it takes two seconds to get the response. Once we have the response, then only we will know how many students we have got in the response. And then only we can calculate the total number of students, right? So I'm simulating that scenario here. Now, if we go to the web page, and once the page loads, you will notice that here it says object promise. That's because this promise, it is an object. And when we are assigning this promise to this total students, initially it will be a pending promise. This promise will be resolved after 2000 milliseconds, right? After 2000 milliseconds, this callback function will be called and then that promise will be resolved. 
but till that time that promise will be a pending promise so for that time interval this total student it is storing a pending promise and that's why you will see object promise here but after 2000 milliseconds that promise will be resolved and then we will have the actual data the total number of students but that is not being displayed here that's because here this data is an asynchronous data we are going to receive it after 2000 milliseconds but this page it has already been rendered and it has displayed this value so what we want is we want to tell angular that here we are going to get an asynchronous data so it has to wait for that data and once we have received the data it has to show that data for that we can use async pipe so we are displaying this value at this line right so this total students it is going to receive an asynchronous data so we need to tell angular that here for this total students we are going to receive an asynchronous data we are going to receive it after some time so it has to wait for that asynchronous data to be received once that data is received then only it needs to display the value of that data for that on this value we can use async pipe and this async it is also a built-in pipe so now what will happen is angular will only display the value stored in this total students once it has received the data before that it will show nothing let me actually show you that so let's go to the web page and let the page load and you will see initially there is nothing and after two seconds you will see this value six because we have total six students let me again refresh the page so you see initially you will see nothing but after two seconds that value will be received and it will be displayed so this is the use of async pipe async pipe helps us handle asynchronous data okay i hope with this example the use of async pipe is clear to you this is all from this lecture and this section i hope you enjoyed this section and you learned a lot about pipes of angular if you have any questions related to angular pipes then feel free to ask it i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you for listening and have a great day